guys it's me and maggie back at it again she seems to be in all my videos now <laughs> but so today we were supposed to go to the sulfur springs here in grenada because um the school was having some little tour set up but like this morning we got ready and they canceled it so now now we're just going to try to find something to do so we looked up this place called dragon bay so we're going to try to find that place and we're going to eat and snorkel but like it's sunday so the buses don't run as often we've never been here we don't really know where it is so you know we're winging it but you know i said i wanted to make a vlog for today so that's what i'm doing so <laughs> wish us luck hope you enjoy this video and whatever comes with it because i really have nothing planned of what it's gonna be like so yeah <laughs> for the school bus we're just gonna try to strike catch a local bus from over here where we live which is questionable again right so it's gonna have to come back out okay um they run less 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 frequent on sunday so we just saw it turn into where we just came from so now we gotta wing it down when it comes back out <laughs> it's so bright out here should we just stand at the opening this is where Maggie lives because rich life. <laughs> so Prickly Bay has like housing, a restaurant, and like that's the whole bay and marina. So a lot of people who travel down here with yachts live down there and come sail and everything. So I don't know if that bus driver went to pick someone up or what. But so yeah, that's what we're waiting on now. Update, we got a bus. Not really a bus. But um, dude agreed to take us down to the road so where we can catch a bus because they don't really run back here during Sundays. So me and Maggie are sitting up front because I think he's like picking up a family to do taxi work. So we start our tour from down here. Okay, Mr. Sir was very nice. He like dropped us off for free. Maybe we should have tipped him, but oh well. So now we're standing at a bus stop. There's Maggie. Um, <laughs> waiting for another bus to pass by. Okay, so we got a bus into town, so we're in town now. Um, and so the bus that we need to get to go to the other place we're trying to go is not running today. So the taxi driver that we tried to, um, the, well, the bus driver we rode in on tried to like basically scam us into paying him to take us. He told us it was seven miles away when it's really only two and a half miles. So we're walking, but um, how long is it gonna take us to get there? We don't know. So like Maggie just said, here starts our adventure of walking to try to find this place. So yeah, this is normally where the bus depot is, but like it's dead today. And the fish market will be coming up. But as you can see, there's like, like usually this street is packed with people walking, with people driving, and it's literally like nobody. Um, so yeah, and to all my American subscribers who always ask if there's any fast food, there is a KFC right there. But um, yeah, so we're walking. I will keep updated if we come across anything interesting. So yeah, 
Good luck to us. <laughs> okay, continue on our walk. There's a cemetery. Wanted to show that. They bury everyone like above ground, like in New Orleans. I don't know why. I wouldn't. I don't want to say they're below sea level because I honestly don't know. And then, that stadium coming up is the Karani James Stadium, which is like the soccer and cricket and track um, stadium down here. So yeah, and we continue our walk. And there's the ocean. <laughs> so I had to come back to point out a fact. For one, Mr. Sir lied to us and said that the eight bus, which will take us to where we're going, doesn't run on Sunday. But it does, because we've seen several pass by, granted going in the opposite direction. So at least we know we can get back. But um, honestly, I think he did that. So we would just take him as a taxi source. He didn't expect us to walk it. But um wanted to come back and say that because i know like i have locals who follow me and they'll like correct me so i wanted to say i was wrong but also right so okay we just passed a sign that said we're like two miles away from one thing which is like a half a mile from where we're going so we've walked about a mile and we still got another like mile and a half to go but so we're making progress we're making progress and we're about to water there's a breeze Yep, so see, we're like by the water. Um, there's actually a sidewalk where we are now because at some points there's no sidewalk, but we're getting there. That's all that matters. Okay, so the underwater sculpture park is half a mile from where we're going. So we're like up in like a residential area. I'm so hot. So we've walked two miles at this point and we're almost here. I promise I won't make this whole video about us walking. We're gonna catch a bus back because no, I'm not gonna make it back. So we've been walking for a very long time now. So we stopped <laughs> to get a drink because I'm about to die. She's about to die and our water is hot. So we stopped to get cold drinks on the side of the road. So for a Sprite and a Coke, it was AEC, which is like mm, not even $3. So we should be almost there. We should be like less than a mile there, but like it's taking a while. This is, my pocket. this is a very colorful wall that a lot of people on tours tend to take pictures on. And oh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> and then this is a popular little bar too that you can stop at the other side of the road. In front of this sign. So there's also a lot of goat and sheep around the island and everything and maggie's obsessed with goats so we stopped on the side so she can see these goats hi mr goat people are gonna come out here and be like get away from their goats they just chilling i know here is the oh that's a hill right here this is the sign that says dragon bay bar dragon bay we're now about to go down that hill, I think. Because he said before the hump, so that's the hump. So I think we're supposed to go down this street right here. I think. Because I mean, the ocean is that way. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get lost again. <laughs> so we're finally down here. There's a sculpture park over here. So we have Mackie's snorkel equipment. And there's supposedly a bar, which I don't know, I see a concession stand. Good morning. But um, yeah, so we're about to go swim. There's nothing down here. <laughs> we finally made it. I don't know where Maggie went. What the heck? There you are. <laughs> I was like, where'd you go? Oh. We're walking on down. Just to sit off a little bit. So we just passed a cotton tree. And I picked some cotton. I'm not I'm not saying this to be funny. I honestly do think this is really cool. It's so soft. Even with even though I pricked my finger trying to get it. But I'm keeping this <laughs> update. We're lost. And we've been getting the runaround of where the beach is. And now we're on a cliff. We were told to come down this road and now we're on a cliff. So this is still not the beach. I mean somehow there's a way to get down there because if you look through the trees yeah right there that's a boat 
and so we're gonna try to figure out how to get down there because it's obvious you can be like on the beach down there it's just how to get down there but this is a nice view so we finally found out how to get down there there it is <laughs> are you gonna make me go first Don't fall, I'm recording it, in case you do. <laughs> Update, we made it to the water. And now we're exhausted, and our legs hurt. And we were hoping there would be a restaurant over here, but there's not. So maybe, depending on how we feel when we leave, we might go look for somewhere to eat, or we might go back home. So, we'll see. But we're here, for now. We finally made it, two hours later. So this beach has a boatload of rocks and Maggie won't come out here with me past the rocks. Ew. <laughs> I know it was like slimy. Yeah. Like seaweed. Wait, okay. You should have brought your snorkel mask. Because oh. now you have to go back through. I don't even want to snorkel in this one. <laughs> I don't want to know what's under there. Okay. We're out here and everything. So yeah, one destination down, this part of adventure accomplished. <laughs> My feet hurt. I did not like this part of the adventure. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this much walking. We walked about four miles instead of two and a half. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. I got my exercise like for the entire week. And plus, <laughs> water. <laughs> we need to probably swim out. It's still pretty and I love the ocean and I love swimming. So, you know, I appreciate it. Oh, Maggie just left me. Really? Really? You're leaving? Okay, so currently we're getting ready to leave the beach. We've been here for about an hour. There's another little couple out here and stuff. And um, we see a fisher boat. But yeah, so we're about to leave. I was about to show you all this pelican that was flying by, but it stopped flying as soon as I got ready to record. I don't know where it went, but there's one still on this boat. There's Maggie. She's not looking or paying me any attention. <laughs> what? No, you have been in it. You weren't paying attention. Oh, I can't zoom in anymore. But if you see there's a pelican on that boat right there. There was one flying, but I guess we're not going to see that. But yeah, this nice little beach. So it was really pretty how the waves just like made a sound over all the rocks so we gotta wait for it to a wave would come back up. Okay. Oh that's pretty. <laughs> It's a baby iguana because they get much bigger than that here. He's just chilling. I want to get him. Why would I throw the water at him? I don't. Why would I do that? You hear them? No, because they're cold blooded, so they get cold and then they stay stiff. And you grab them, and then you can. They warm up. He's about to run. He's scared to move. He's scared to move. And there's an ice cream truck over there. So, now we're stranded waiting for a bus. And who knows where we are. I think we're still in St. George's though. We are still in yeah. Florida. But we're like at the borderline of St. George's. Like where we're about to go into. I don't even know what's the next one up on this side. There's buses going in all the other directions. That we're not trying to go. On the way here. Yes. And now there's none going back that way. What was us? <laughs> oh. Y'all, I'm so hyped for this ice cream truck. I want some ice cream so bad because it's so hot. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it better come this way. What to tell you? I'm really upset now because now there's a regular bus coming, which means I can't get ice cream and take it on the bus. Hopefully the bus lets us on. 
So there's the bus. Question is, is it gonna stop? Not you, not you, mister. Oh, she's not. Oh. Thank you. Oh, your fault. My fault? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We needed a bus desperately, so we're good. So now we're on our way back to town and we're gonna eat in town. back in the grand dance area which is like where we are near school like the school is not over here but it's nearby so this is like our little area where we usually are so now we're going to this restaurant called sangria that we really really like and i mean we've been there plenty of times but like people always on my youtube always ask me to like record restaurants and like eating places hi which i never do so this is the restaurant for all of y'all who ask like what's there to eat around like off campus and stuff this is one place um called sangria so when we get there i'll record again so here's sangria and it's just a little walk down here it sits behind this little resort right here it used to sit somewhere else but it moved but it still sits on the beach so once we get down there you'll see the beach and the pool and stuff so as we walk up the beach is down there i'm not walking down there because i'm hot and i'm tired but um there's the pool which goes to this resort and this is sangria the place with the best pasta ever <laughs> hi I don't know if you would care to see the beach. I'm doing it for the YouTube. Mm -hmm. So they have a mix of look everything. Um, I wouldn't go so far to say it's Italian, but like they have a lot of pastas. They have steak and chicken and seafood and stuff, burgers. And then they have salads, they have fries, they have dessert, and they have a lot of appetizers, but they're known for their sangria. So they have like different types of sangrias, um, different, you know, stuff. I don't drink, so lots of wines, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, they have breakfast, I didn't know that. So yeah, here we are. This is like one of my favorite restaurants here in Grenada. I had gum in my mouth so it made it super cold but yeah i get the shrimp pasta with mixed red and white sauce i don't know what maggie's getting i think she gets shrimp pasta too is that what you're getting yeah that's what she's getting too so yeah i'll show you the food when when it comes okay i forgot to actually record the food <laughs> when we ate but we've eaten now we've gone grocery shopping and so now we're going home after our long day adventure. Might I add, when we caught a bus back, it took us five, like less than 10, like 10 minutes to get back to where we started walking. That took us two hours. But you know, it's, it's fine, you know? We got in shape. We had our little adventure. So, thank you. That was our day. Now we're going home to probably die and sleep. So, till next time. Maybe I'll have a more interesting video, but yeah.
You're not gonna say bye? Bye! <laughs>